Athens is a city with many faces, a city with a difficult but amazing fate. The cradle of the European civilization, the clear evidence of human genius. You should see the city with your own eyes to feel all its power. Two and a half thousand years ago, a grandiose construction with the use of such marble blocks began on top of the Acropolis. Later, this architectural ensemble was recognized as the most perfect monument of the world. The heart of the Acropolis is, of course, the legendary Parthenon. It is this masterpiece of ancient architecture that influenced the whole architecture of the Western world. In Greece, the arts were always mingled with their practical application. Why do you think Asclepius built his hospital down there between the two theatres? It appears that the ancient Greeks believed in the holistic approach and that the great art of theatre could heal the soul. The theatre was part of the medical complex. It seems quite natural that theatre first appeared in Athens, like most genres of literature and the foundations of many sciences were laid here. It was a melting pot of thoughts, ideas, discoveries. Athens is a layered cake of cultures, epochs, ethnicities, ancient temples, Byzantine churches, neoclassical mansions, this city doesn't open its secrets to everyone. But if you look closer, you might see a lot of interesting things. For example, here in this cafe, they cook a terrific Greek dessert, Galactoburiko. Delicious! At the first glance, these walls may appear modest, but the house, a huge and rich collection of one of the world's best archaeological museums. This beautiful white marble stadium was rebuilt in the 19th century in order to hold the first modern Olympic Games, but the actual date of its construction is the 4th century BC. This is the terrace of the restaurant Cuisina. It's the place where Greek top-rated television cooking shows are recorded. But it is not the most interesting fact about it. The most interesting thing is behind my back, it is the temple of Hephaestus, the only ancient temple which has preserved its original look. Yet the soul of the city is in Plaka, in the old town at the foothills of the Acropolis. It has a feel of a Greek island about it, where one plunges into another world and gets lost in the tangle of narrow streets. This is the Monasteraki Square. It is also known as the Athens Flea Market. Here you would find everything your heart desires. But the most interesting thing is hidden under the ground. It is an ancient river that flows beneath us and crosses the entire city. This is the other side of Athens, the area of Psyri. The houses here date back to the 19th century. Tourists seldom wander here. It is a favorite spot with citizens. There is a huge number of taverns and cafes. People come here to listen to music, eat and have a drink in a good company. It is evening now. It is not time for fun yet. All of the fun will begin at midnight.
Athens combines the audacity of youth and the greatness of antiquity. There is the spirit of history in the air. There is the freedom that cannot be stifled. There is the wind that hums a carefree song of eternity amidst white walls.